What's up? What's up, y'all? We're, we're back. We're back. back. We're back. We we're are back. so happy that we are back again. Yes, we, we are. Yes, we are. We are so yes, glad we are. and thankful that you guys have joined us. Yes, like she said, thank you for joining FTC's Kids Only the Experience. We hope you had a great time last week because we really did. We did. And I can't stress this enough, but I really be missing you guys. But again, not more than me. But then again, probably not more than her because I can only take you for a little while then you got to go. So, yeah, <laughs> I love the kids, y'all. Yeah. I love the kids. So yeah, I'm with her. So <laughs> with that being said, we got another awesome lesson this week. Now, we said our memory verse last week. Do you guys remember that memory verse? What is it? I can't hear them. I can't hear him either. I said, do y'all remember that memory verse? What, what is a memory verse? What is the memory verse? What made your pain say? I can't hear Did you. you. Well, if you don't know, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> it's Luke, the 12th chapter, the 15th verse. So you should already be reading that because that is the memory verse of the month. And so remember, you already know that. We are still taking more videos of you guys having your parents record you read those memory verses. We've got a lot in. But we right. still have two more weeks before we decide on the fourth Sunday yeah. whose video will get shown. So keep sending those memory verses in yeah. because we want you guys to know so that you can tell your friends and you can tell somebody to tell somebody who knows somebody. I feel you, but I really want to know how many of them really did the challenge that you put on them last week. We got Because, you we know, we can't see y'all, but we know how y'all do. God's watching. Yeah, he's he watching. He this is going to come to our lesson today. We got another great one for you. So remember, our memory verse is the same, Luke 12, 15. And then also, our word for the month is still the same. And what's the word of the month? Contentment. Contentment. Wait, do I sound like Beyonce? <clears throat> no, she sounds like no one say. He's a hater. Yeah, because she can't be singing like that. We ain't got time for all of that. That's the mom for she me messing up. Look, she messing up. She messing That's up the, the video. She messing up the video. Yeah. But like she said, the word is contentment. It is and what does that mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? It means basically you're just okay with everything that you got. Because now I know. Now because I know, know last week I wasn't. Pretty yeah, pretty she wasn't feeling cool. last week, but ask her how she's doing now. I'm ask content. her how she's doing now. I'm how you content. doing now? I'm content. You content? I am. Okay, she's content. There you go. So are they. Put that mint on the end. Wait, hold up, hold okay. up. You got a joke? Yeah. Okay, she got a joke. last Sunday, he had a yeah, I had to reverse that thing. Had so, to reverse that thing. let me tell you. Yeah. What is Bruce Lee's favorite drink? She, she said, Bruce Lee's favorite drink. Y'all ready? Yeah, what is it? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, she got me with that. He wasn't ready with that one. He wasn't ready. But I that's okay ready because we either. are ready for a praise and, and workshop. Are you ready? So we'll be right back after this. He does. We have praise and worship. Not kind of way to stop for yeah. praise and worship.
you got some cool props here that I'm sitting here playing with, but that's okay because we just finished with our praise and worship and I am so excited because sometimes we do some of the songs that get us hyped up and we do some songs that keep us going, and, but yep. we always do songs that keep our minds on food. And she ain't lying. It's, you keep your mind on Jesus, but she's not lying. As y'all can see, she got on the same shirt that she had on last week. She was up here all fear. week long. I was. I all was. week long. But you know why? It's because when I fell last week, I stayed down to make sure we was good today. <laughs> That's right. I sure did. And we got some exciting things for you. We yes. got some cool props because one thing that we do like to do is just tie along things for you guys to be able to see what we're talking Visually. about and make it a visual for you so yep. you know exactly yep, yep. what we're doing on your level because that's what we do here at Kids Zone. And Lane, you want to tell them what we're talking about today? Yeah, so we're still with our memory verse. What's that? That is Luke, the 12th chapter, the 15th verse. That's right. And we're still on our same, our same word. And what's our word? Contentment. What's that word? Contentment. Absolutely. That's right. So we got another great lesson for you guys today. So last week we talked about Paul we and did. how he was that he was good in his contentment with dealing with everything that he went through. Today we're going to talk about another man that kind of goes through a process as well, but he's going to show you how he's going to be content through everything as well. We're going to talk about a man named Job. Job. You know what? That's funny because... Just like Paul had his process, mm -hmm. Job has a process. Oh, yeah. Because we all have a process. processes. That's my true. voice sometimes has a process, and my voice has a process. Yeah. So we're processing through this video. Yes. We so, are. So we're talking about Job, right? Yes. So let me tell you about Job. Now, there was a conversation that took place between the devil and God. The mm -hmm. devil was walking around the earth trying to see who he could devour. Devour? Devour, I mean, swallow up, steal, kill, destroy. He wow. wanted to get rid of them. That's, that's, what, just, that's what he does. That's, that's right. what he does. So he was just trying to find somebody that he could just destroy. So God said, have you considered my servant Job? And then the Wait. devil tried to be slick because Job had everything. When I tell you, Job was the richest man in the land. Wait, wait, he wait, had wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. Did you just say that God told the devil to go after his people? Yes, he did. And sometimes he does that. I'm he confused. wants to test you to see where your faith is. To see oh. if you're serving him for just stuff or are you true to it. Because I rep that JC. Yeah. I don't care what I have. Just like Paul, when he was in prison, he was okay with everything that he had. I'm the same way. I don't care about none of this stuff. I rep that JC. Right, because JC in his house. Yes, he in the house. Wow. So then amazing. God, he tells he tells the devil, he says, have you considered my servant Job? Mm -hmm. Now, the devil looking at everything that Job had. I mean, Job was rich, filthy, filthy rich. The devil looking at him said, well, you know what? It's easy for you to tell me to go after Job. He's got everything. He's going to serve you. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't he serve you? Because you gave him everything. He said, but I tell you what. He said, let me take everything from Job, and then I promise you that he's going to curse you to your face. God oh. didn't let him do that. Yes, he did. God, God let was him like, take yeah, it all away? Yes, yes, he did. God was like, God told him, he said, okay, fine. He said, take everything from Job, wow. but you cannot put a finger on him. Mm. So this is where we start our process with Job. Job, doing his thing, praying like he usually does, making sure everything is good, because Job was a true man of God. He was. All of a sudden, Job loses his land. What? Yes, loses his land, cattle, everything. Uh, I think yeah. uh, what was a storm came in and took everything, wiped everything out. Not only that, now Job's inside his house. He gets a knock on the door, says that he lost his kids. What? Yeah, dude. When I tell you, he, he lost his kids. His kids don't. He lost his kids. Not only okay. that, I'm gonna get deeper. Not only that, now his friends are talking about him. Said, man, what did you do? Why are you losing all your stuff? You must be cursed. What did you do? Just repent. Just tell God you're sorry. What did you do? But guess what? Job was like, I ain't did nothing. Well, he said, right. my father's testing me. I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I'm still on this, this mm -hmm. kids. Yeah. He lost his kids. He lost Girl, his land. He lost Look, his family. This is my family. Yeah, this is family. This is my he mama, lost everybody. My baby, my husband, my kids. 
Can you imagine losing somebody? When I tell you he lost everybody, Woo! but he still served God, it. right? I and I was like, man. So Job was a powerful man, so he lost wow. everybody. Not to mention his friends, they turned their back on him. They was like, you got to be cursed, bro. Because all this stuff happening to you, I don't see nothing good out of it. But Job was like, I'm good. I'm still, my God is testing me. I'm still going to go. Even his wife, she mm. was like, look, mm. you serving God and we're going through all these problems? Uh-uh, I can't be with you. She left. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Let me, let me just make sure I'm understanding you, Mr. Lyman. Yes. The family. The family. The kids. The, kids, the wife. The wife. The the friends, I got nothing. You got nothing. And the wife was like, man, look, you broke. I ain't gonna be around no broke dude. You know what? He's like, you just you ain't got nothing else for me. But Job was like, you know what? He stays strong. He stays strong. Job was like, although you slay me, I will serve you. Well, he was he showed his content. Now, mm -hmm. not even that, that ain't even the good part. The best part was during Job's process, Job fell ill. Job was so sick, flesh was falling from his bones. And he still served God. He was a skeleton. He still served God. He was a skeleton. He didn't have yeah, no he skin. Didn't have no skin, and we ain't no talking nothing. about pork skin. <laughs> he didn't have nothing. We ain't talking about pork skin. We <laughs> talking about flesh falling off his bones. I'm hungry because I've been But the good thing about all of this, Job still served God. Wow. And when the enemy thought that he had Job down, Job was continuing his process. God restored everything that Job lost. You know what that reminds me of? What? So I, I did have my props here, but as you're talking, it just reminded me of why I have my, my illustration here for you. She's so, way over there, y'all. Look at her. She all up on time. Joe told me this. You know what? He he just he just he just worried about what I'm about to tell you. Go ahead and tell him. But break, anyway, break, keep so the knowledge. Keep the knowledge. You know how it's like when you get the, the, the first phone, the first iPhone that came out was iPhone 5. Mm -hmm. We had iPhone 11. Okay. But guess what? When that 5 came out, you wanted that iPhone 5. Yep. Now everybody wants that 11 with the three, two cameras. And they got a 12 Pro coming out now. See, anybody got time yeah, for that. Yeah, they got a 12 Pro coming out. But, 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 think about this. So, my daughter, which I showed y'all, mm -hmm. when she was younger, she wanted a diary. A diary that has the pages, the lock, <laughs> the key, so that nobody can get into her diary. Right. But last year, they came out with this new <laughs> Project 2 MC. And it's so much bigger and better. And you got a, a voice control. <laughs> it got a privacy watch. So so do you think she still wants this? Do you think she was content with this pop, this, this Peppin the, di the diary? She didn't want it no more. Apparently not, because there's nothing written in this book. So no. She, she didn't want this. And look, I can't look. open it. Somebody just, want a diary? <laughs> Hello? But, but it gets better yeah. because you boys, I'm thinking about y'all too. Okay. You know, first we have Matt and 20, you know, right. because unfortunately they did win the Super Bowl. Cowboys, I got you. We're going we're gonna to pray for you, Dak. I hope you get better. Okay. But I, I, brought, I brought this because you wanted the Matt and 20. Right. And that's with the, uh, what's the basketball one? Uh, uh, 2K. Yeah, 2K. You wanted 2K20, yeah. but guess what? Madden 21 came out. Do you think you still play 20? No, no. because you're not content. Right. But one thing that I want you guys to know is that as time changes, things change. There Your you wants go. change. When I was younger, Tickle Me Elmo was a thing. I bet you don't yeah. even know what a Tickle Me Elmo is. Yeah. But that just goes to show you that things change, but God never changes. Right. He always stays the same. So just like there you were saying go. with Job, yeah. no matter what the devil threw at him and no matter what he took away from him, his faith and his belief and his sight on God never changed. Change. He was content knowing that God right. has me no matter what. Right. Regardless if his parents left and regardless if his friends left him. When you're yeah. at school and your friends start talking or going their, their way and, and treating you differently, you it's okay. Yeah, because at the end of the day, you pray for them mm -hmm. and you let them know that I still love you regardless of what you think of me right. and the way you treat me because I'm content with who I am because go. God never changes. Just like we saw ourselves in the mirror last week, God sees our heart and he sees who we are. Right. So don't get involved with stuff. Just get involved with God and know that he always has your back and he will never change and he's always been who he is from day one. That's awesome. She got me hyped. I wanted to say, I'm like, I'm like oh yeah. But I can't do that because I'm recording. That's so right. check this out though, but she was absolutely <laughs> correct. So Job through his process showed his contentment. And like I said, God restored everything that Job lost, and he restored it even more. Now, this has been another great lesson. It I hope has. you guys 
have got truly been blessed by this lesson. I did, because I know I was. And I was I am too. finally content. Yeah. Because I know that no matter what, and I know sometimes we no know, matter what, no matter what happens, no matter we what, come back up because God always has us bottom line. Don't be settled with stuff. Right. Be content with God. That's true. See you guys next week. We have another exciting lesson coming with you. And don't forget to keep recording yourself with those videos in the memory verse because we have two more weeks and we'll let you know. Who Thank won. you for joining F3C. Bye, guys. Kids we love on. you. See you Thanks later. Experience. Word.